Is your groin pain keeping you in lockdown? In this video, I'll free you. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Grown and Healthy, the channel where we explore self-improvement through movement. And in this video, we're gonna tackle groin pain and how to solve it. Now, the hip region is the epicenter of athletic movement. When injury arises in the hip complex overall, every step that you take, you start to hesitate because you don't wanna feel that pain. Now, when we think of keeping the hip strong, we think a lot about the TFL, the glute medius. Rarely do we focus on the inner aspect of the groin complex, the pelvic floor muscles, you know, such as the gracilis and the other parts of the adductor complex, including the psoas. Now, in this video, I'll give you five exercises that will start with groin relief and end up with groin strength to keep the pain from reoccurring. Now, when dealing with injuries, I follow a four-step process. First, desensitization, relaxing the response of the pain, sinking into the feeling, trying to actually figure out where the pain is coming from. Then we will have sensitization, usually an isometric pose that ignites the muscles without having you to engage in a movement pattern. Third, mobilization. Utilization of the region without pain with proper mechanics and balance. And then lastly, strengthening. Building on the mobilization with resistance leading to more resilience. First, to desensitize, we'll start with the frog stretch. On your hands and knees in a quadruped position, I want you to be on a cushioned surface and I want you to try and walk your knees out sideways, keeping your knees in line with your glutes. Get close to your limit, but not into sharp pain. Relax in this position for five to 10 full breaths. Relax into it. See if you can nudge your knees a little wider. If you can, repeat the sequence of breathing and widening until you reach a firm limit. Two, to sensitize, we'll perform fire hydrant holds. In the same quadruped position, I want you to raise one knee laterally to the side and hold it up there isometrically for up to 30 seconds on each side. Think of not only using your glutes to lift the leg, but also using the groin muscles to lengthen and to push that knee into the air from the underside. Perform this for three to four sets for up to 20 seconds each. Third, we're gonna mobilize using donkey kicks. Hands and knees again, keeping the leg bent, we will raise the heel of one leg directly to the sky, using the hip flexors and the glutes to extend as high as possible without sinking your lower back. Perform 10 reps plus on each side for three to four sets. Next, if you enjoy the content that I am providing, please press the like button and consider subscribing. It goes a long way to helping me provide more content for you. Now, number four, quadruped circles. Perform slow and controlled circles, starting from that donkey kickback position. Now, we're going to externally rotate our hip and circle it around, bringing the knee towards our ribs. Now, plant your foot down gently and then reverse the sequence. This will really help identify where the problems are and allowing your body to understand the pain threshold and that everything is fine, you're in control. Remember to breathe fully and slowly during the exercise. Take this slowly. A rep duration should be anywhere from four seconds to 10 and do this for three to four sets on each leg. Fifth, we're gonna go into strengthening. And in the A exercise, we're going to do a cross-legged bridge. Start by lying on your back, knee raised, and then bring the heels as close to your butt as possible. Cross either leg and place the ankle on the opposite thigh. Then, as I'm raising, I want to think of pushing that knee down towards the ground. Raise the heel, press out. Raise your hips while cross-legged for 
eight to 15 reps, then match the reps for the other leg and do three to four sets in total on each side. This will help stabilizing and creating strength in your external rotation of the hips. For the B exercise, we'll be doing frog internal rotations. We'll come full circle back to the frog stretch, but this time with some heat. In this frog stretch position, we're going to hold a firm core, and then we're going to internally rotate one leg at a time by lifting the foot as high as possible while keeping the knee planted. Avoid extension of your low back. And you want to perform 10 plus reps each side for three to four sets. And as a bonus, I suggest a side plank raise. It goes a long way in synchronizing the adduction and abduction of the hip. The hip shift requires strength in both the outer and inner hip, but we're using the hips as the fulcrum. So we are sliding, sliding the hips, okay? That lowers, this one raises. I equalize them and then I displace them. If you can perform six to 10 raises on each side for three to four reps, you'll go a long way in alleviating a lot of groin pain. Now, I know you'll have felt some pain relief and the more you practice these exercises, the more confident your body will become and the less the pain signals will arise. I know it's been a long time no see. And if you like this video, please let YouTube know by liking and sharing. Thanks for watching.